Giamanco. She asked, how do you manage all things for baby? It's hard enough trying to keep it simple in a two bedroom and I still feel like it's too much. So Aline, for us, we don't have that much stuff for Carter anymore. We did have a bed and a changing table and all of that, but that's in storage. So all the big things went to storage. Uh, we do co-sleep, so he sleeps in bed with us, but if you don't co-sleep, there's a there's bassinets that you can find that fit perfectly in this little space where I'm sitting right next to our bed. Since he co-sleeps with us, we no longer need the bassinet. We had it when he was a newborn. We actually store our bassinet underneath our bed. Now when it comes to his clothes, we only have clothes that fits him out. So I have three drawers for him and it's filled with his nine to 12 month old clothes right now. He's a little fussy, it's bedtime. It's nap time, huh? And all of his excess diapers and wipes we just put underneath the bed as well. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how we keep Carter's clothes organized in our Mama, RV. It's all about playing Mama right now. Mama, Mama, Mama. Mama, Mama. Okay, so this is his closet right here. And um, as you can see, it's just, I have it organized with his onesies at the top, PJs, then pants and shorts, and his sweaters at the bottom. And that's all he needs. And his diapers and wipes are in a basket right here. Simple as that. So where do we keep all of his shoes, socks, hats, accessories? We keep them right here. One thing that's very important to our little family is just teaching our little guy. Um, what? So one of the ways that we teach him is by reading books. And this is where we put all of our books, right here. Very just small space, but you know, as long as you keep it organized, you're all good. Le estamos enseñando español al niño desde pequeño para que así sepa cómo hablar cuando ya esté grande. If you didn't understand that, what I said was we are teaching the baby Spanish so that, you know, as he grows up, he knows how to speak it. So he's going to be a bilingual little guy. Big guy? Adult? Yeah? Sí? <laughs> Claudia, where do you store all his toys? Where do we store them? That's right, in this green tote right here. This was actually a gift from my dad and it also doubles up as a swimming pool for him. A little personal size swimming pool. I want one of those. Yeah, I do. So all in here are all of his toys. Whenever it's playtime, I just grab it and dump it all over the place and once he's done, I pick them all up and put him right back in here. So as far as Carter's food goes, this is where we have it, in our huge pantry. He is still breastfed, but when we're on the go, we purchase these fruit and veggie blends. Love them, couldn't live without them. We have fruit and veggies here, and then we also purchased another kind. So, just variety. We also have bananas, avocados, apples, sweet potato right here, so we get to give him that too. Yeah. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're well, that just about wraps it up. Thanks for watching. If you have any more questions, please let us know. And that's it. Goodbye!